David, we've had the news today. You've, you've been confirmed as, as Red Bull captain. Firstly, how are you feeling with that news and, and what is your outlook on captaincy with Derbyshire? Yeah, firstly, I'm extremely honoured to count, uh, to captain Derbyshire. Um, I think looking at what has been going on this winter so far, it's a special group of players and coaching staff and people around the club. Um, so it's exciting and it's uh, an opportunity that I couldn't turn down really. Um, as soon as Mickey asked the question, it was one of them which felt which felt right. Um, and I think it to get to know the group first helped a lot. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for the, for the coming season. Yeah, and you've captained Glen Morgan in the past. Is captaincy something that maybe comes naturally to you or is it something you've had to grow into? Um, probably grow into more than anything. Um, obviously, I've done that the last few years at, at Glen Morgan and it's something which, yeah, it's, it's enjoyable. It has its... It's challenges at times, but um, I feel with this group of players, especially that um, there's a lot of competition for place as well, which is which is really healthy. And um, yeah, I think it's a like I say, it's an opportunity which I couldn't turn down really. And I think it's it's going to be we've got a lot in place for this coming season. I think it's going to be hopefully a, a good one for for the members and the fans and for us as a group. Yeah, and you mentioned about how you've got to know the players already. Of course, you've also got to know Mickey quite well over the last few months. That relationship will be key, won't it, as captain working closely with the head of cricket? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, obviously, speaking to Mickey before I before I came here um, and what his, his goals were was something that really excited me. And um, he's obviously a very ambitious person. And I think with some of the additions, which has added more strength to what was already a, a strong squad, I think we're in a really good place and it's now challenging the other end of the, the table. And um, listen, I think with what we've already got here, all bases are covered. And I think, yeah, there's no reason why we can't be successful in four-day cricket. Yeah, and on that, you, you mentioned new players, of course, yourself being one of them. Six new additions, a few outgoings as well, a pretty established core. How do you view the squad and and will it be difficult maybe for the new players, the amount of new players to bed in? Um, yeah, well, the squad, obviously, you've, looking at Camo last year, he, he came on significantly and that's great to see. Um, obviously, with Reese as well, I think those two forming that opening partnership. And then, yeah, I think the new lads have, from what I've seen, have already gelled with each other. Um, obviously, Roscoe's been here before yeah. and he, he knows some of the lads. And... Um, yeah, I think the lads that have been brought in have added a lot to the group already. Um, and like I say, the people that were already here have got so much to offer. And yeah, they've made us all feel very welcome, which is credit to them. And um, we want to build on hopefully all pushing the right direction to to get Derbyshire, like I say, to the top end of Division 2. Yeah, and what can members and supporters expect to see from your Red Bull side? Yeah, I think... Um, as a player, I'm quite um, aggressive in terms of the way I go about things. So, yeah, listen, we want results at the end of the day. There'll be times where it, it doesn't go our way, but I want us to play cricket, which is exciting and also at, at times can be, um, I suppose, 50-50. We, we want to challenge ourselves and win games with, yeah, with the group we've got. And I think putting ourselves in positions to win games more often than not will come out on top. And I think it's changing that mindset, which I suppose you look at last year, it was a difficult year for the team. Um, and it's just changing that mindset as a group and believing in ourselves to, to go and win games. And we'll look at, yeah, being exciting and also, I suppose, daring at times to, to try and win games and set up games to, to get a result. Yeah, and, and just on the captaincy situation, plus other news that Samit Patel will be white ball captain. You've got yourself on the red ball side of things, Samit on the white ball side, Mickey kind of, you know, working with you both. I mean, it's great experience to have and, and great to be able to kind of bounce ideas around as well. Yeah, obviously Samit's a very um, experienced player. He's played, obviously, for his country and for a lot of teams around the world. And what he'll bring to the T20 team will, will be amazing. And yeah. Hopefully he's been in teams that have won domestic um, T20 competitions and 
yeah, hopefully he'll bring a lot of what he's kind of learned and experienced to this group of players. And obviously Ross coming, um, bolsters our, our batting lineup as well. So, yeah, I think at the, looking at it from now, the club's in a, in a, a nice place to be and it's an, ex, an exciting place to be. And hopefully the members can see that. And as long as we're all pushing in the right direction, that's the main thing. And yeah, it's, I think everyone's looking forward to a, to a good summer. Yeah, and finally, sat here at the Encore County ground now. It's it's not maybe the hive of activity on the field that we'd like it to be, but come the 5th of April, first day of the county championship season, how big a moment will it be for you to walk out as captain? Yeah, it'll be um, a, a very proud moment for me to to lead Derbyshire. I'm, I'm extremely honoured to be given the opportunity to do it, and um, I'm very grateful. Um, so, yeah, I'll obviously go out there and give it my best shot and hopefully... Um, yeah, listen, I, I want to be as helpful to the lads in the dressing room and support them. That's the main thing for me is to back them and give them the opportunity to go out there and do what they want to do and give them the licence to play they want to play. So, yeah, I'll, I'm looking forward to um, to getting out there and um, experience, well, making this my home. So, yeah, exciting times.